Hi, it's Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Monday the 20th of August. Right, let's take one of our many signals for our stocks members area and set it up on a chart for the entry stop loss and the target. So members get potential long and short fifth wave trades on the weekly, daily and the 60 minute time frame. The fifth wave is the highest probability move of an Elliott wave sequence and a trend. They also get our members get stochastic long and stochastic short trade signals every day in the members area. They just click on potential long fifth wave trades, for example, for the 20th of August. Click on the image, download the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet for today looks something like this. So this is potential longs on the 60 minute time frame. I've chosen one of these on the 60 minute time frame. You can also look at the bottom of the screen there on the tabs for the daily and the weekly and this is for the 20th of August so let's have a look at TPR which is top of the list um, on the 60 minute time frame now this is the ninja trader version of our Elliott wave indicator suite or wave5trade.com it's also available for think or swim multi charts and in a minute I'll show you the trade station version and set the trade up itself for those members that have got this Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. Around the 7th of August, we've got these lows here. This is where we isolate the wave count. We've got the one, the two, the three, and the wave four. And now we've got good support and we're looking to trade the fifth wave move up here high um, into our automated target zone. All of this is automatic once we isolate the lows and the highs. Very, very simple. Let's go to the trade station version and set this trade up. So this is the trade station version. First of all, let's just zoom in a little bit here. We're only really interested in this wave four and how it's behaved uh, when we are setting up the trade here. So this is really, really important to us right now. Uh, the rest of it is already happened and we're interested in what we're going to trade. So first of all, uh, the three filters, the wave four has pulled back into our, one of our automated probability zones. Found good support here in the amber zone and that's an 80% probability zone that if we go on and start to move upwards, we're going to get that 80% probability is going to hit our automated target zone up here in blue. Around about in the middle of there is about 55, 30. The, also the wave 4 we look at the behavior of this wave 4 with regards to the 535 oscillator on our indicator suite and as you can see it's zoom in here it's just pit below the 90 percent which is good it needs to be between 90 and 140 percent and also on the bottom here this is our false breakout stochastic the yellow dots on the overbought zone here denote a very strong bullish trend the stochastics pulled back eventually in the oversold zone against that strong bullish trend and now it is looking to return to the main bullish trend uh, very very simple three basic filters that um, build our data for the stock signals every single day and very very simple then to use those signals on our indicator suite set up trade so to set up this trade very simple we want to be above the highs of friday the first port of call is this green 6-4 moving average high we need to be above there for for the first hours position which we will be because we're above friday's highs we're also above these couple of highs here as well and above the whole $52 mark. So 52.18 is our entry here. The stop loss is just below the wave four. The wave four low here. Uh, so that's around about, let's have a look on the data set here. So we have got the stop loss at 50.75. So stop loss 50.75, entry 52.18, targets around about 55.30 into our automated target zone up here. So a great risk reward of 1 to 2.2, 2.3, something like that. So great risk reward, 60 minute time frame. So intraday, probably expect to carry this two or three days, um, maybe four. Uh, depending on how much momentum this gathers but if we can say this starts to pull back up through here through the $52 mark we can say that momentum's back with this and we've got an 80% probability it's going to go on and make that new wave 5 high into this blue zone here so that's it for today have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow